Okay, we're going to look at example 512 in the 13th edition. This is uh, chapter 5 uh, on equilibrium of rigid body. Um, this, is the, this is the drawing here. This is the figure. The reason I chose this one, I mean, it's really straightforward, but the reason I chose it is because it has a fixed support. Okay? And when we're trying to solve for our unknowns, we need to know how to replace the fixed support with the uh, appropriate forces in our free body diagram. Okay? So it says, determine the components of the support reactions at the fixed support A on the cantilevered beam. Okay, so it's got this funny shape. It's got this 4 kilonewton acting at this angle and a 6 kilonewton down. And it's got all these uh, interesting dimensions. All right. So let's try and draw this guy. I'll try and make it big. So there we go. We have that. We have this uh, 4 kilonewton acting there. Okay, I know my angle is completely wrong. That looks more like a 45 degree, but who cares? Um, that's 1.5. We have a 6 kilonewton acting down there at 1.5 meters. Okay. And that also is a 30. And that's also 1.5 up until that point there. Okay. So this is a fixed support. Um, how do we replace a fixed support with, with forces? In, uh, or reaction forces, rather, in um, with our free body diagram. Remember, the golden rule is that if a support can resist translation, then you need to put in a react a, a force in that direction. So, if a, if a support can re resist translation in the x, then you need to put in a a reaction force in the x direction. If a support can resist a force in the y direction, then we need to put in a reaction force in the y. If a support can resist a moment, then we need to put in a reaction moment. Okay? So that's the, that's essentially the golden rule there. And it's very logical. Okay? So let's redraw this guy. Okay, I know I'm maybe doing a little bit too much work here, but uh, there's, there's my four kilonewton. So how do I replace this? I need to replace a fixed support with the AY, with the AX, and with a moment. Okay? So a fixed support, let's just write it there. Fixed support, you need to replace it with uh, forces in the X and Y and a moment. Okay? Um, I'm just trying to see if I can quickly find that um, that table again I spoke about the table in the previous video table 5.3 uh, so if you see a fixed fixed support there do you see how you replace it you replace it with the fx fy and a moment okay all right so i hope that's clear and then we've still got this obviously we've still got that six kilonewton we've got that four kilonewton acting at 30 degrees and there's our free body diagram, okay? I'm not going to put in all the, all the dimensions. So now, we're trying to solve what's happening here at the, at the support. We're trying to solve for AX, AY, and the moment MA. So what do we need to do? Well, some of the forces in the X equals zero, some of the forces in the Y equals zero, and some of the moments about somewhere, A equals zero. Okay? Um, so let's start here. What, what would we say is the first thing to do? Well, let's break up this 4 kilonewton into its x and y components. So that would be 4 sine 30. That would be 4 cos 30. All right? Are you guys happy with that one? Okay, so now, what if we began by sum of the forces in the y equal to zero? Let's start off with that one. Okay, so we've got ay, and now what I want you to take note of again, I, I mentioned it previously, and, and you've hopefully picked it up, is that it doesn't matter what direction we put these arrows, okay? Even the couple moment, we can say anti-clockwise or clockwise, it doesn't matter. 
The, the simple thing is when you finally solve for a, y, and a, x, and m, m, a, um, if you get a negative value for that, then you know my arrow has been in the wrong direction, and it should be in the opposite direction. Okay? So now, just logically, just look at this in a, in a kind of a logical way. That 6 kilonewton, is it going up or down? It's going down. What about that, that force there, that component of that? It's going down. So what do you think Ay is going to be in order to... Remember, guys, this is a reaction. It's a support. It's a reaction. It is resisting motion. So if these two forces want to bring this beam down, obviously I need a reaction force that is opposite. So just sometimes it's not easy to see. But in this case, you can see that Ay must be, must be acting upright. So if I put Ay down, then when I solve for Ay, I would get a negative, which means, oh, that arrow should actually be up. Okay, so let's solve for Ay. We've got Ay here, minus 6, minus 4, sine 30, equals 0. And you solve for Ay, I get 7,82 kilonewton. Okay, I hope that's correct. Then, some of the forces in the x equals 0, Ax. Now, just look at this now. I've gone and drawn it there without thinking, but that's fine. Sometimes it's okay to, you don't, you don't always have to think. Okay? So, my Ax goes to the right, but I've got 4 cos 30, which is also going to the right. So, what happens if I've got two vectors going like that? Then, then... They're not cancelling each other out, which means I should have some acceleration in the in the x direction, but I don't. So, because the sum of my forces in the x should be zero. So, if I say plus ax, right, and then I say plus 4 cos 30 is zero, and I solve for ax, I'm going to get minus 4 cos 30. Okay? Can you all see that? Okay. Sorry, I don't always look at the camera. All right? And so that gives me minus 3,56 kilonewton. So why do I get the minus? Well, because that arrow was in the wrong direction. And so the arrow should actually be in that direction there, which means it's cancelling out that force there. Does it make sense? Good. I'm glad. I thought so. I thought so. Okay. So now we've got those two. And... What is the last one that we need? The last one, okay, is we need to calculate what this moment is, all right? So also, again, just have a look at all the... Remember, this moment needs to counteract all the applied moments, all, all the moments due to the applied forces. So that force there, is it causing a clockwise or anticlockwise? It's causing a clockwise moment. What about that force? Clockwise. What about that force? Clockwise. So I've got three clockwise moments. Oh, yeah, I've got forces which cause three clockwise moments. So what should that be? Well, in this case, I've chosen it in a correct fashion. It should be anti-clockwise to counteract. Okay. So I've got some of the, some of the moments about point A equals zero. So what is that? That should be and if I say anti-clockwise as positive, okay, let's move that up a bit. If I say anti-clockwise as positive, then I should have MA because it's an anti-clockwise moment there. Um, then I've got minus 6 times 1.5. And I'm just going to do this, but you need to um, figure it out, okay. Then I've got this 4 sine 30. It's Clockwise, so it's minus 4 sine 30. Whoops, sorry. That is the force. I now need a moment arm. How do I calculate my moment arm? It's going to be that, that distance plus that distance like that, right? So it's that distance plus that distance. That's my total moment arm. There's my force. There's my perpendicular distance. So it's going to be 1.5 plus 1.5 plus 1.5 cos 30, right? So this will be 1.5 plus 1 point... Oh, come on, phone. Focus. 
1.5. Sorry, I don't know why it does that. Okay. Plus 1.5 cos 30. That's my moment arm. And then I've still got that force there, which causes a also a clockwise moment. And my moment arm, if I again if I draw this um, this line of action, I know that's not a very straight line, but use your imagination. There's my line of action. There will be my perpendicular distance, which I'm after. I'm after that perpendicular distance, which is that distance there, which is 1.5 sine 30. I'm after that distance, that distance, okay? So again, it's minus 4 cos 30. That is the force. That's my F. Now I need a moment arm, which is 1.5 sine 30, okay? So and that all should equal zero. If you solve for your MA, you should get, well, this is what I get, kilonewton meter. I, I looked in the solutions for regarding this problem, and they get different values to me. I don't know why they get different values. Maybe they were using a different calculator, um, or they were doing the calculations in another country or on top of a mountain. Or maybe they were, I don't know, drinking something. I'm not sure. But this is what I get, and I checked it a few times. So if you've got any questions regarding this, you can, you're welcome to um, just, um, just figure it out, okay? Or you can come see me, but these, this is what I get. But regardless, please look at the methodology that I used. The important thing that I wanted you to see from this was how to replace a fixed support a fixed support with um, the appropriate forces, reaction forces and moments, okay? Um, yeah, I'm not sure if there's anything else. Okay, enjoy studying over the weekend. Bye-bye.